from the local market today. It looks like we're off for a fairly quiet start, but Ben Lebrun, we spoke to him from Options Express earlier, and he said really he doesn't think the spies are reflective of what we should be expecting at the open. He's looking at losses of up to half a percent. Kate, it's been a pretty good week for the Australian share market so far. We've seen three consecutive days of gains for the week. The market's gained 1.6% and we've actually hit the highest levels for 2012, hitting fresh 16-month highs. So the ASX 200 is in for a little bit of a rest. Some mixed leads coming through. The US market was down by 0.2%, mostly on the back of that Google blunder coming out overnight. But in London, we saw BHP, Rio both gaining ground. BHP was up by 1.7%. Rio Tinto managing to gain 2.4 percent and we also saw gains in the US where BHP was up by 2.4 percent and Rio Tinto managed to gain a quarter of a percent so we could see a slight lift for those big miners and that may help the Australian market out although if we have a look at commodities we did see some slight declines there we did see gold down by half a percent copper in New York was down by 0.1 percent while oil prices were flat one of the things we are watching is that two-day uh, Brussels summit and the comments coming out of that summit with the European leaders. And I guess a key thing uh, that's expected out of this summit is some sort of agreement about banking supervision and banking union. And originally the European leaders were expected to come to an agreement around uh, banking union legislation by the end of the year. But it does look like there's been a change of language there. It doesn't look like a, an agreement by the end of year is on the cards, which is a little bit disappointing but really watching those comments uh, around that European situation of course that meeting ending today. Yeah Julia it certainly seems like they're trying to water down those expectations now we've got uh, reporting for the banks next week what are you going to be watching Julia what's key for us? We do see the banks starting to report their earnings. We see ANZ coming out with its full year result on Thursday. And we also see Macquarie coming out with its half year result on Friday. From ANZ, we are expecting to see a full year profit result of $6 billion. And with Macquarie, we're expecting to see a, ha ha a $400 million half year profit result there. But you know, the uh, banks have had an absolutely fantastic run. If we have a look at the ASX 200 over the last year, this is what it looks like. Um, and what you can see is that we've seen this massive run up uh, from the 3rd of June where the ASX 200 has gained 12% and that of course has been driven by the banking stocks. We've seen ANZ gaining 22%, we've seen CBA up by 15%, we've seen NAB up by 20% and Westpac actually managing to gain 27%. And that's been driven by yields, some very attractive dividend yields while interest rates are falling here in Australia. ANZ's got a yield of 5.5%, a CBA 5.9%, NAB's are one of the highest at 6.6% and Westpac at 6.2%. So we're going to see whether the earnings picture really does support uh, the, the very strong capital growth that we've seen in the banking stocks. Of course, with Macquarie, it's a very different picture where we are still seeing the return on equity under the cost of capital. And we know that uh, stocks like this are crimped by the very low volumes that we are seeing around the globe in stock markets. So we'll probably see more cost cutting by Macquarie, but certainly it's going to be a big week for banks, especially given the huge run up. I think investors will be watching for uh, signs of growth and we'll be watching the outlook statements as well. Julia, what about ASG today? It's now trading ex-entitlement or at least it will be. What's the outlook for that stock? Well, this stock has really struggled over the past year. We've seen the stock down by 21% and that's while the Australian market has risen by 8%. This is a company which is in the IT services area. It uh, has made some major investments into cloud services and it continues to win new contracts um, as well as some takeover interests there. Recently we heard that it had received a takeover approach which was no, uh, just indicative, non-binding um, at around about $1.03. Now the stock is trading below 60 cents so it looks like a pretty attractive approach uh, approach there but if we have a look at this entitlement issue it is a one for six issue at 52 cents I'll be looking at raising 15.4 million dollars it is an underwritten issue so they'll have no problems with getting the money there but they're going to be using the money for working cap cap as well as decreasing debt now, if we have a look at some of the forecasts for the full year they are aiming to uh, get revenue growth above 15 percent so some very strong growth targets there but of course with this entitlement issue we could see the shares coming under a bit of pressure today the shares didn't trade yesterday and they will be coming back online the stock code there is AGZ so ASG group coming back online ex-entitlement we're expecting to see the shares falling